Uh, good evening. Uh, today I will discuss about the course project for the ITE 6200 application development and merging technologies. So the requirement is to choose a topic, a uh, group from any of this group topic, uh, to discuss, then, uh, present a video, uh, discussing the chosen group topic. So, uh, put it in the PowerPoint, it depends up to us what visual, uh, presentation we'll do. So, for this, uh, in part one, I choose the, uh, group one, which is workflow, structure, and style. So, on the course module, uh, so this is my, uh, presentation. So, for the course module, uh, it discuss about the workflow. So, there's a workflow to, uh, develop a web application. So first, mostly the chapter one workflow, uh, discuss about the IDE, uh, tools that we need to develop, a uh, web application. The tools that we need to develop, the tools that we need to run and the other tools that we are gonna involve in developing the web application. So, what are the tools that we use uh, to, to code the uh, web application? So we have the text editor, uh, the version control, and the web browser. So uh, in this work topic one, we will discuss about the text editor. So the text editor, uh, there are different kinds of text editor. Old school one, when doing our uh, old times when we coding we don't have the uh, notepad plus plus sublime dreamweaver we use purely notepad only so using that notepad we will save our file as html then we will run it on the browser so uh every code uh is coded in the notepad meaning blank blank canvas to create all your web application so now uh in the recent time there are many tools that we can uh use so still notepad is there so we have this notepad plus plus which is a pan saving uh this is the icon for the notepad plus plus uh when you save html uh it will automatically uh change your color which are the tags and which are the content and so on we also have this sublime text, same with the uh, Notepad++, plus plus, but uh, you can choose, you can, a different background for your UI. Notepad++ plus plus is just plain white. I'm not sure if you can change the background color also, but I've been using Notepad++ plus plus as plain white only. Then, uh, when I was working last time, we have this Dreamweaver. The Dreamweaver was, uh, during our times only in Macromedia. Now it was bought by the Adobe. So now, uh, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe, uh, Dreamweaver is together. So the Dreamweaver is a drag and drop. Uh, when you drag your sources, resources, it will automatically give you the HTML tag if you view the source. But on this topic, I will discuss about the old traditional notepad only. Mm. Then we have this version controller. So, uh, the common version controller is Git. So, uh, the Git is a one that you can download, uh, using npm, to download the Git. So, in, by using Git, you can version control your uh, files. For example, you did changes today, then you want to make changes tomorrow. You can commit it, then uh, pick it up, patch it again tomorrow, then commit it again. Meaning, uh, if you make a mistake uh, during your new code here, and you want to revert back to your old yesterday code, you can fetch your old code uh, correctly, meaning uh, everything will be revert back to the yesterday's code. Uh, Git 
uh, sometimes use a command line interface. So when I was working, I was able to stumble upon a Git version, I mean, a version controller, which is source three. It's also using Git commands, but uh, it's already on a GUI uh, form. So it's much easier using the source, but still I prefer using the old Git uh, client command. So that's the version control. Now, how do we run our code? Uh, we will use browsers. So the common browser is Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Safari. So Chrome is from Google. So IE is from Microsoft, and Safari is for when, uh, Apple. So mostly uh, they have also their counterparts. So Safari is always running in uh, iPhone. So that's their default browser for their mobile phones. Then uh, we have this Firefox, Opera, and uh, Brave. So this is the other browser that we can use. And UC browser, I'm not familiar with this one, but based on the module, it was stated there. Then Netscape. So old school uh, browser was Netscape. So the problem last time when we we're developing HTML codes, uh, your page should be compatible for all of this browser. Uh, the hardest part was making it work on Netscape. Fortunately, I think around year 2000 something, they uh, discontinued the production for uh, using for Netscape. So nowadays, most people, or I think nobody's using Netscape anymore. So the most common one is I uh, Chrome. I I think now I is the Edge, Microsoft Edge, and Safari. So later I will discuss when when we code how we will view our result from the browser. Okay, so now let's move on to the structure. So the structure uh, is what is the code of the HTML. Uh, how do we write HTML code? So the structure of the web page contains HTML. So uh, HTML means hyper text markup language so they they are tags uh so basically we have the other uh, as i go back uh, there are two parts of the web page html and css so html is the one that's uh this uh constructing it displaying what you want to display and css is making it beautiful it's like uh, you have a html is uh the drawing uh lines then css is the putting color on your uh, artwork something like that so uh then the what are the parts of the html so doc type uh html html head title body and footer so how do we do this so i will show you on a old school notepad so as i said uh, there's a doc type then the html tag So HTML. So H the tags should have an end tag. So HTML should have a slash HTML. So the end tag is always uh par tags are always paired with the end tag, which is the slash of the tag. So for example, this is HTML, so it will be slash HTML. So the head.
then the end tag, then our title of the web page, sample web page, then slash title, then our body. So body will be, the content will be inside here. So how to uh, make this work? How to run this? So let's put a text. This is a test. So we need to save this file as HTML. File, save as. So I prepared a path for me. You should save anywhere you want, but I created a path under C, which is course project. So sample, you should have an extension for your HTML with .html. So sample.html. So they already have our first code for the HTML. So how do we run this? So we will go to the project that we, uh, to the path that we save our HTML. So it's in C, course project. Then this is the sample. So just open it on Chrome. So this is our HTML page. So, as you can see, uh, the one that I put the sample web page title, and this is test the text on the uh, page. Okay. Now, this is the structure of the HTML. Uh, what are the uh, tags that we can use for the HTML. There are a lot of tags. So you can check online. Uh, there is W3 school was one of my reference. Uh, all of the tags are listed there. Uh, some. So I will discuss here what is the most commonly used tag. So H1 to H6. So this is supposed to be H1 to H6. Uh, so on our uh, sample code we can write on the body h1 so this is the test we will put it under h1 so like that so if we run it we save it then we go back to our browser we refresh we will see the heading one h1 so uh, as I said, there's H1 to H6. So if we paste it until H6, then change the values. Then we save and we check. See, we will see now the, uh, h1 to h6 tags so what else we have the p which is for paragraph uh we can try it so how will the p look like let's try putting more content here then put another paragraph so we can see what's how it was applied then save, then refresh. See, we can see one paragraph listed there and another paragraph listed there. Then uh, we have this uh, text uh, formats. So what are these? The bold, italic, underline, superscript, and subscript. So if we put on the text, bold, And we put italic. As I said, uh, we should put an end tag. Then underline. So these are easier to uh, remember because they are the first letter of your word. So sup, superscript. 
like the superscript is used for exponents then sub which is used for a base logarithm something like that so let's put a text before so we can see if it's been subscript then let's save uh, i control s so you can see my save but i will do here save and go to the browser and I refresh so see the superscript at the bold it become italic and underline then uh ah sorry i think the bold was not end tag so that's why the whole text was uh bold so if we and we end tag the bold here let's try it again see now everything is not bold so bold italic underline superscript then subscript what else so we have the formatting uh then uh the font uh if we have a text uh, using a font tag uh we can customize the color so for for example this is red so we will put font here slash font It didn't work. <laughs> Font color red. There. So we put the color on inside the uh, font tag. So if we try blue, same. Font color blue. I think the common colors are blue, red, yellow, green, cyan, black, and gray. So you can experiment uh, those colors and you can see on the ref references later uh, what are the color, basic color. Now, what if we want a specific color? That one is advanced one, but to give you a uh hint you will use a hexadecimal number computed uh then you will put the hexadecimal number instead of the color so as i recall for black is hash zero 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 not sure if will work so it worked so for white f f f f white and gray six 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 so something like that now let's continue on the next one which is the i uh, sorry ul what's ul uh an ordered list so this one uh is for bullet so how do we write a uh, bullet so we use the li for the list one then list two list three then and tag it So what it how it took like on the page, it will be like that, an ordered list meaning bullet. So now what's ul? What's ol? Sorry, what's ol? Ol means ordered list. So ordered list. Uh, we just copy this and replace the ul with ol. Ordered list. And let's see our output. Same. They will use the tag they must use the tag list so we will know what are the items that we're gonna write so there so ordered list is the uh number uh 
what else uh, we have this HR and BR so what's HR HR is just a uh, meaning horizontal rule or horizontal line on your page that you can put if you want to uh, make it look nice or something like a separator so HR HR doesn't have an it uh, end tag yeah I, that's one of the exemption I think uh, there's no end tag for HR. So see, we now have an HR. Then, uh, we will, BR, what's BR? So if we put a text, this is a text, but I want to put the another, this text to another line. How do I put it? I don't want it to be uh, on one line only. So we put BR. And we are again. How will this look on our page? So if we save, refresh. This is a test. This, eh? Where's it? This is a uh, under the subscript. Ah, let's put br so we will see. Then two br, then another br before the font color red. There. See, the our text was separated by the next slide. What else? Uh, these are the common tags. Now, we have other tags which are uh, used for, uh, uh, for big pages. Uh, like if you want to put a uh, image or a table or uh coding it's script so first the common one is uh ahrep so ahrep is a, a link tag so if you want to put a link going to facebook or going to uh google uh you will use the a tag so a hrep then our your link to uh, facebook link to facebook and your end tag for a so what will it look on your page so it will be a hyperlink so if you click this it will direct to facebook so same if you add another hyperlink going to uh, instagram so just put the url so like that instagram so redirect to instagram then image so in the image tag we should have a attributes called source the source is where your uh, file should be so on my case i have a uh, image here which is image 292292 if we preview it's my picture so it's my picture so i will get the file name of this one copy then on my html i will uh, write the image tag so img source src is equal to the file name then the file type so jpg then end tag image also doesn't have an end tag so there are certain exemptions that uh, <clears throat> the tags don't need to have an end tag so if we save this how will it look like in our page there so you can see my picture there mm. what else do we have so frame a table uh, i that one i think is uh it will display a table with cells and column a frame 
I think frame is not supported anymore on HTML5, but that's the old code where it, we will split the page with the header and navigation and the body. Then the script. The script is the one used for uh, coding, ins inserting JavaScript, inserting jQuery. Uh, so our page will be dynamic. Okay. Now we move on to style. So what's the style? Uh, as I said, the uh, uh, HTML is the structure of the page. So this look at our page is so blank, so plain. So we have this now how to make our page beautiful. So we have the style. Style in a uh, web page is called CSS or cascading style sheet so there are three ways to put style on your web page so internal external and inline <laughs> internal is uh if your page is simple you can put the style uh, inside your page uh so it will it's easier to uh see what did you do uh, if your web page is uh, large already, meaning multiple pages or uh, huge already, uh, a lot, a lot of uh, alignment, spacing, or uh, coloring, uh, you must put it external. Then include it using a link rel style sheet. So that's embedding your uh, external file to your web page. Then we have the inline, which is you put your style directly to the uh, tags. So let's try this. I, I think I already shown you. I ah, know not yet. I shown you only the font. So uh, let's try the inline. So for example, we go back to our page. Uh, we have this p tag. Uh, let's put a color red. So p style. So this is the uh, attribute, but in the attribute, uh, you need to specify what kind of style. So color, then the value. So the attribute, then the style, then the value. So color red, then terminate with semicolon and close. So if we check our page, so it become red. So we applied a uh, style on directly on the P tag. Now, another way on our body, uh, we want everything to be, uh, we want our page to be color black. So how to do it? So body style equal so background color black so let's see what will happen on our page yeah everything become black so how about the text those texts that we didn't change to uh, under color so we cannot read them but it's still there so let's put the color which is for the font white let's see what will happen so every those uh, who haven't put a style on each uh, tags separately uh, they will be with uh, the style will apply based from the global one. Uh, so, how about let's try the uh, in inline internal. So this one. So instead of directly putting it on the tags or body like that, uh, we will put it uh, in the styles of the head so i will remove this first 
So let's see what will happen. So it came back to the original one. So inside the head, we will put the style tag. So we will not put the style as attribute. We put the style as tag. Then uh, we don't need to put uh, the tags inside, just the word of the tag itself. So for example, we want the body to be color. So we put a bracket color. green or blue let's see what will happen we should end the bracket oh, error mm -hmm. wait a uh. style body And color. Let's color. Hmm. So if you don't know the code, uh, Let's seek help on our W3 school. So CSS color. Yeah, uh, the inline is having a problem, so I think I will try it later. Then, continue. So, we have the uh, external, which is uh, including your file there. So, styling, uh, as I said, it's for the looks uh, and color. Then, for positioning, uh, it's for the alignment of this and sizing so for example we'll try this uh margin so our paragraph is uh uh in doesn't have a space on the left side or our image uh first i will make our image smaller so Let's 
So, resize our image too. Uh, again, sorry, uh, this is on uh, old school notepad. So, I will copy this. Close, close this uh, or I will uh, open this file on Notepad++. So, we have our Notepad++. So see, uh, the color of the tags are changed to blue and the content are no black. So you can easily determine uh, what are the uh, tags. Now, uh, we go back to our CSS. So we resize it to uh, 100px. So make it 500 by 500. Px means pixel, so 500 px. Then here, let's put a break tag, so we can see, save, and we refresh. So let's try the padding. So it's margin left, or sorry, margin left. Or let's try all margin first. 100. Let's see what will happen. So this was our current. If we refresh, it got a margin from this side. 100, 100, 100, 100. And we try to put text below. So we will see that the margin is there. Okay. So, like I said, it's for coloring, uh, making it beautiful, nice, and for alignment, alignment of your uh, I, uh, items inside your web page. Mm -hmm. Then, we proceed with the uh, uh, CSS selector. So, how do we do the CSS selector? Uh, you can call instead of calling the uh, tags we put a selector on the elements to separate them from each other so for example we have this uh two p paragraph uh, let's make it uh, let's add more so currently we have uh this plain one let's make it five or six so now we have uh one two three four five so we have this five uh six six paragraphs for our page so i want to make this three uh color blue but without putting the the uh, tag itself on the the style itself on the p tag meaning i'm not going to put directly here uh or i want uh this two to be uh color blue instead of everything so first we must put the selector what are the selectors it's the uh, class and ID. Uh, so the most common one is the class. So you put class and our name, for example, Parawan. Then you put another class on three. Para two. So, how do we use this? If we call a class, on we set a class on the elements, we can call the class by putting dot. So on, uh, I sorry, this class should be the same. So para one and para one. So if I call para one, then I set the color 
to blue. Let's see what will happen. There. So you can put a class tag on same element with the same class name. So then when you set the class, uh, they will affect everything with those class names. So for example, I will make this uh, H6 color blue also, not just paragraph. There. So same uh, with H1. Let's make the H1 blue. Then I want them to have a margin of 100 px. You can combine the uh, coloring and the spacing. See? Let's margin left. So let's make it nicer. Margin left 20 px only. There. See? The texts are moved a little to the right. So those are the uses of classes. So you can explore uh, how to make your page beautiful by uh, applying the CSS style. Then, uh, advanced one, uh, the class are used also for grid. So this one, uh, you will use div. So the div tag, uh, mainly, as like I said, you can put class then uh, using your class margin padding alignment, uh, you can create a table like this using CSS and div tag. So I think that one will be in a future uh, course, which is not involved here. So if you want to research more, you can find it in W3 School on my references. So to summarize, uh, what do we need? to uh, code our page, we have the text editor, which is the notepad plus plus or the old notepad or for for uh, future, I mean, for much easier IDE, the sublime or other Visual Studio or anything else. Then where do we run it? We First, our file should be saved as .html or .htm for others. Then we will open it on a browser, which is Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari, Firefox, and everything else. So those are the browsers. Now, item two. So the HTML structure is the .html tags which are the one we discussed, HTML, head, this one, and they should be, have an end tag. So, those are the structures. Then, uh, how to make our page beautiful? So, we will need a CSS, cascading style sheet. So, putting the color, putting the background, and everything. Uh, so I think that's it. Uh, it's it's Christopher, uh, and these are my references that I use. Thank you very much.